<laughs> so I think you have an episode choice, right? I do have an episode choice, and uh, it is the uh, Christmas Cla Yes. <laughs> also, I choose. This is a Christmas classic known as Die Hard. Yes. Uh, John McClane, Nakatomi Plaza. Visit Hans his wife. Gruber. Yes. Uh, this is a fantastic movie. All around five stars. I haven't seen this in a long time. It's been a while. I want to say probably probably 10 years. Maybe, yeah, I would say about 10 years since I've seen this movie. Is this your favorite Die Hard? Uh, yeah, it's my favorite Die Hard. Because I think I like Die Hard with a Vengeance the most. You'll have to, pretty much all the other Die Hards run together for me. Which one is Die Hard with a Vengeance? Is that the second one? That's the third one. Uh, that's with Samuel Jackson in New Okay, York. that one was actually pretty good. But yeah, I did like that one. Um, but I don't know. Once you get to the third of a certain movie with a certain character who's like supposed to be an everyday guy, yet he's getting himself in these crazy situations, I start to lose. It starts to lose like its realness to me. Yeah. Well, that I mean, the later ones, he's just a superhero. Yeah, pretty much. And I haven't, uh, to be honest, I haven't seen the two newest ones. Yeah, I don't think so either. <laughs> I think I just. I, it just on them. didn't. I yeah, the one I know one of them's got like his son, and the other one is, I don't know, he goes to a retirement home or something probably. <laughs> the last one I remember watching had um, Justin Long. Justin Long, yeah. That was the last one that I saw, and I didn't really like that one. It didn't feel like a Die Hard movie. No. That was Die Hard 4, I believe. I think so. Uh, die. What was the hardest. That one? The hardest? Live Free or Die Hard. Live Free or Die Hard. Yeah, that's. Uh, oof. Not a fan of that title. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah, it's dumb. Um, um, to go off on a tangent for a second, because this is something that annoyed me. Uh, at the time of recording this, is they're making okay. a John Wick number three. Have you seen that? Yes. And uh, I have not seen the movie. But that they're making it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that, it bothered me because the first one is great. The second one is okay. It's still pretty good, but not nearly as good as the first. And I'm like, guys, just keep making movies. I want the team the choreographers, the directors, I want Keanu Reeves, all the, all the same people keep doing it. Yeah, it doesn't have to be John, John Wick. Wick. It could be anything else. Yeah, like they they make really cool looking stuff, but the world of John Wick as we saw in the second one when it was like we got to get deeper into this stuff. It's like, oh no, this is just getting weirder and weirder. And if they go into the wasn't third one, I interested in, in the whole assassin like Underground background, world. yeah, the yeah, I it, it didn't interest me like it did with it just being John Wick against a group of guys, you know, and he's angry. Yeah, that's all it needs to be. Um, just Mad yeah, Max, so but John Wick. Have they said like a plot or anything synopsis? What no, this one's going to be about? I haven't heard anything specific, but I'm afraid that it's going to ruin the the franchise because like. I think they could make a lot of really cool movies because their style is so interesting yeah. visually, and uh, I just I just wish they would do it with a different story. But the reason I brought that up is because Die Hard, uh, Bruce Willis is a decent actor, but John McClane right. is a worn out character. Oh, for sure. You know. Yeah. Like, so. Well- and, but even here's the thing. So, like, John Wick is, like, a super hitman who's been trained and he's, like, one of the best in the world, right? Now, a, a hitman is someone who goes looking for the situations that they get put into for the most part. Or who they are is how they get put in these situations. So it makes sense for things to keep happening to John Wick. I get that. But, like I said, John McClane is just a cop. I get that. He lives in New York or whatever, but like, what are the chances that more than one huge thing happens to him? Well, more than that, it's his wife. What are the chances that his wife, who is not a cop, yeah. 
she's an office worker, is a part of a terrorist plot or uh, <clears throat> terrorist kidnapping, and then yes. is on an airplane that gets hijacked by terrorists. That's true. Yeah, the chances of that are insanely small. Yeah, but then because at least for it to John keep... McClane has he's a cop, right? So at least he has some like momentum into that world. But his wife but has he's not no like a reason. super cop. He's just really he's no, just no. clever. <clears throat> no, I know, but I'm just saying if you want to talk about odds of things happening, I think he has a better chance of that happening than his wife. Yeah, should have, that's true. Where she was. You know, she was taken captive twice. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> it's just, it's just kind of lazy. Like, I don't know. Not the first one. The second one gets kind of, I don't know. But Die Hard, Die Hard one is pretty good. I still love it. Don't, don't get me wrong. <laughs> it's just, yeah. It's, There's... it's one of those things. It's like two movies is, is pushing it for me. After yeah. that, I, 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 I can't buy into it. Well, I, you kind of have to have a reason. Or a, um, the issue with sequels is it's generally uh, driven by money. Money grab. <clears throat> you know, like you have like this passion project that someone like pours their life into making, does really well, and then people are like, well, let's do it again because that was successful. And it's, you know, it happens the same with like musicians. They have like a great first album and then their second one is always worse because it's, there's not as much time. It's more rushed and there's higher expectations. Yeah, exactly. And so I think a sequel is always difficult unless you intend from the beginning to have a sequel or a trilogy or unless whatever. Unless it's, yeah, written like that. Yeah. Now I will say that an exception to this rule is Spider-Man 2. <laughs> yeah, no, you're The wrong. best. The best Spider-Man. I love Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2 is the worst. Oh, you are the worst. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, you know, uh, Die Hard has a lot of cool moments where, like... Oh, it's definitely got cool moments. It, it's, it's cool to watch him sneak around and trick these guys and this and that and it's 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 believable enough you know well like i was gonna um, say in the beginning they establish he's on the plane and he's talking to this business guy business guy businessman <laughs> and uh the business so, so you got this business guy here right he's really in a business and he owns companies <laughs> the business dude is like what you got to do bro is take your shoes off and rub your feet through the carpet it's going to help you get rid of all the toxins from flying in the air. And so yeah. you got Bruce Willis walking around barefoot when the hostage stuff goes off, which doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but it really, the scene where he has to walk across all the glass. The glass. is yeah. like, it's so powerful because you're like, oh, no, that would be terrible. And he gets <sighs> glass all up in his feet and he has to pull it out. and It's rough. High stakes. <clears throat> Or at the end when he's got the, the gun taped to his back or jumping off the roof with the uh, the fire hose. and There's a lot of really cool action moments in this movie. Oh, for sure. Or uh, Hans Gruber using the American accent. That was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love Alan Rickman in this movie. He's a great villain. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of who else is even in this movie. Besides those two you guys. You got the, the cop. Oh, and it's Carl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Carl. From Family Matters. What's his name? Carl, uh, Win- uh, Winslow. Winslow. Now. Well, I don't know what his name is in the movie. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, Family Matters. I, I, I've heard this. I have no idea if this is true. But that Family it's a Matters. Prequel to this movie. Is a spinoff of Die Hard. Not like oh. a, not like a legitimate spinoff, but like, uh, they saw him in Die Hard. And they're like, well, let's let's build a sitcom around that character type of thing. Like, I don't think it's a it's a legitimate like uh, in canon spinoff, but right. I think that was kind of the the joke. And I don't see anything that like tells me one way or another. But I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna say uh, I seen that exclusive confirmed by no one important. Definitely a spinoff of Die Hard. 
Perhaps it's just a sequel to Die Hard. John McClane exists in the Family Matters universe. Uh, yeah, no, for sure. Definitely in there. But does uh, uh, Carl Weathers, Weathers, not Weathers, uh, Winslow, <laughs> or Carl Weathers, I guess. Do you Carl Weathers, it? yes. Do they eat Twinkies? Because that, that would be the what really shows us the truth. Um, I can't imagine that they don't. I mean, who doesn't eat Twinkies? Twinkies are delicious. I do not like Twinkies. What's wrong with you? I never have. Have you ever had a Zinger? Uh, pour up, pour up a green, uh, which one's the Zinger? A Zinger is a Twinkie, but it's got frosting on top. So you got, you sounds got cream like, in the middle, worse. sponge cake on the, around it, with like, frosting on top of it. You know, at this point, point in my life i probably would like twinkies it's just been so long for some reason i had it as a kid because i had a friend who was like obsessed with twinkies was it me that i went to school with it, it might have been you uh and i just never liked them mm. i i wasn't a fan of the the cream but and I, I probably like would like sugar. it now i didn't like it <laughs> um but yeah, anything else about Die Hard? Getting off on Twinkie Talk. It's not Twinkie Talk Tuesday. <laughs> You're listening to Twinkie Talk, where we talk Twinkies. The goods, the bads, the pros, and the cons. Yeah, one That's thing I want to say about podcasts and YouTube and uh, content is... That there's not enough about Twinkies. <laughs> is I really hope the term deep dive goes away. We're taking a deep dive. Yeah, like that. It, it everybody like I feel like so many people say it, like we're doing a deep dive into this topic. Go, okay, like you, everyone says that you don't need to say it anymore. Let's do let's 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 think of something else. Just talk about it. Yeah, just talk about it. What is what is? Because like, can you do a shallow a dive? Deep dive. I'm gonna do a shallow dive. We're gonna we're gonna wade in on this. Yeah, we're just gonna. Dip our toes in on O.J. Simpson. <laughs> Tune in next Wednesday for huh. Wade in Wednesday. <laughs> Wade in Wednesday. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, enough with the deep dive already, people. Yeah, I'm going to start a petition. I feel like I have a lot of petitions going on in my head that no one would ever sign, and it's it, it disappoints me. Cause they're I can... Confirm that no one will sign them. You can confirm that? I can confirm. I just asked. Well, that's that's hurtful for no reason. Did you expect any different? Nope. Uh, if Die Hard comes on TV, what are you going to do? Oh, I'm going to watch it. Yeah. For sure. I'd probably watch this. I haven't seen it in a long time. And I think it holds up. Oh, I, I'm, I'm confident that it holds up. No. But uh, like I was as saying, as far as oh. changing, yeah, what would you change? Um, I don't think I'd change anything about Die Hard. Nothing. You wouldn't change More a single thing. feet. I think uh, Steve Urkel shouldn't have showed up. Shown up at a certain point. Well, they had to establish that they take place in the same universe. Yeah. So like. You got Carl Winslow eating Twinkies in his cop car talking to John McClane, and then uh, Steve Urkel, like, accidentally, like, messes something up for him. Yeah, that, I, I could have done without that. <laughs> you don't want that in it? Wait, are you saying that it's what you want to happen? That's what I want to happen. That's what I would change. That's what oh. I would put into the show, in the movie. That does happen in the director's cut. Oh, okay. I haven't seen the director's cut, I guess. It's not as funny as you would think. <laughs> um, and then if I were to... It actually, because it gets John McClane killed. Well, I... <sighs> would that be a better better ending to kill off the hero? Like, say John McClane... Probably McClane's, more realistic. John McClane saves everyone, stops this terrorist threat, but ends up dying at the end of it. No sequels, no coming back. Clearly dead. Is that a better or worse movie? No happy ending, but he saves everyone. 
Um, and that's the end of the franchise? End of the franchise. A single off movie. No Live Free or Die Hard. No. No Justin Long? No Justin Long. Justin Long oh, yeah. does not exist in this new universe. But it, what do you think? Does that, would that make a better movie or would it make a worse movie? If you, you watch the movie, they do something interesting, like killing the main character, killing off the hero right at the end. I would say no, not for the first one, but yes, for sure in the second one. Because, okay, the chances, like we said, the chances of you getting into two situations of this magnitude, small. Mm. The chances of you surviving and prevailing both, I feel like even smaller, I think... They should do that because they've already established John McClane. He's superhero. He can do all these things, and then he dies because he's just a person. Well, what if Die Hard, instead of John McClane, what if it was just cop stories? Like Die Hard 2 is the same True thing. Detective. Yeah, kind of like True Detective, where they have a new cop who is you know stuck at an airport, uh, and his wife is on a plane. Like I think that would be more interesting. That would definitely make a lot more sense. And you could do a lot more of them. Like, you could have this yeah. established franchise of, like, oh, no, these are good movies. Here's this story. Like, why don't they, I, why don't they do that? Like, And at what point, one, maybe the third or fourth one, would be about Carl Winslow. Yes. Well, Carl, he definitely – is he still alive? Because he needs a Die Hard movie reboot. He needs I believe that he is still alive. He uh, he definitely should have one. I'd like to try to confirm that. Hold on. Because I know his his family listens to our show. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he is still alive. Reginald Vell Johnson. Yeah, he should definitely have a hostage takeover movie. So do you think after, let's see, Family Matters. So he did Family Matters and Die Hard. Do you think after that he was typecast as a cop? Um, he was definitely typecast as a black guy. Yeah, and I felt like that wasn't fair. Yeah. Like, yeah, he did. He he portrayed it very well. Yeah. But, like, he's so more versatile than that. Than just a black guy? Than a... Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like I want to see him as an Asian woman, and I don't think Hollywood is brave enough to do that. Yeah, I'm going to say in this day and time, something like that, it, it would be way, way too ahead of its time. Yeah. Maybe too late. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe too maybe late. Maybe if it was going to happen, it should have happened in the 90s. <laughs> in like the 1590s back when yeah, Shakespeare. Yeah, the 1590s. <laughs> now, I, 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 do, I, I, I do vaguely remember hearing a rumor that Shakespeare was experimenting with Switching race and gender uh, for his plays, uh-huh. uh, but I don't know if he ever actually did it because, as you may know, uh, I was not born until like 300 years later. <laughs> That's true. Um, yeah, I was there, but I, I don't remember who played what. It's, it's very hazy now. Pretty hazy. All right. Well... I don't have anything else to say about Die Hard. Would you have anything I else? I have to say? zero to say. I've said everything that needs to be said. Everything that needs to be said has been said. Um, if you like our show, if you like, if you would like to help support our podcast, you can go over to patreon.com slash I seen that. And for a dollar, you can vote for Taylor or I, Alan, and help decide Taylor. who has to pay the punishment for this month. Um, yeah, hopefully, uh, I'm going to keep this ball rolling and maybe we can get like 10 consecutive punishments all going to you. (laughs) That Uh, would be fantastic. I have a feeling after like the third one, your suggestions for punishments are going to start getting a lot lighter, (laughs) but I should have to (coughs) patty cake for like two straight minutes and not even like record it. That's a good idea. Two what I of petty cake. what I think is so we're recording this in December. I just lost in November. I had to get my legs waxed. 
I think Woo. we should have like a list, like uh, punishment one, punishment two, punishment three. So if you lose punishment one, you have to get your legs waxed. And if I lose, I have to eat a Char- Carolina Reaper. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't think I care for that. <laughs> you just want things to even out. Always. I want you to suffer as much as possible. Well, look, if it makes you feel better, I suffered watching you have to wax your legs. Probably, if not maybe more, a little more than you did, just because, like, it hurt me. It it hurt you to watch me wax my legs? I I hate to see you in pain. Yeah, that's what I've always thought about you. Our friendships always seem built on compassion and uh, empathy. And by hate, I mean love, and it was amazing. <laughs> it was everything I always wanted. <laughs> but, yeah, so you can go over to Patreon and help decide who should get punished. You can hear how cocky Taylor is being right now and decide I that was just, <laughs> he, he needs was, to get punished for this month and help was, me out. Yeah. On that last day, I was telling Crystal, I was like, look, this definitely started as, like, I don't want to ever have to get my legs waxed. Mixed with, like, I think it'd be funny to have to see Alan get his legs waxed. But, like, everything that I'm doing, everyone that I'm trying to get on board is, like, I don't want to have to do it. But by the time it got to, like, that last day and I'd already been betrayed, like, ten times, (laughs) I was like, you know what? I don't even know if this is more about me not wanting to get my legs waxed or just needing to beat you. Because growing up, I don't know if I've ever beat you at anything. (laughs) I was like, this is... A long time coming. I was like, I don't even care about the lake waxing. Why? I just need to say that I want something. <laughs> I uh, I went into it uh, very cocky. I thought for <laughs> sure. I thought for sure. There's no way Taylor's gonna win. There's no way Taylor's gonna have the drive or the determination or the just caring enough to win. And uh, I was like going into it like, oh, it's gonna be funny to watch Taylor have to get his legs waxed. <laughs> and then at the end, I was like, I I don't even care if Taylor gets his legs waxed. I really, really don't want to have to do this. And I lost. And it was sad. Oh, man. I think it's probably maybe – did you go into it thinking that the rest of the world feels the same way about me as you do? Um, like, if everyone knows Taylor like I do, he will lose hands down. Yeah. Yeah, mostly. I figured anyone who knew both of us would – uh, I got him fooled. Would go with me over you. And I think that's that's probably true. I think I got a lot more of people who know the the two of us. Yeah, out of all – we should tally it out of people who know both of us who got more votes. It probably is you for sure. Let's see. I'll I'll give you a count right now. It's 9 and 13. Sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah. It's about what I thought. (laughs) But yeah. So you can help us out uh, for this month, for February. I don't think we know what the the punishment is going to be, but – Hopefully not, it'll be good. Not yet. I've also changed on Patreon the $5 donation to help us decide what the punishment is. So if that is something you'd like to be a part of, you can help us by uh, giving some ideas and being a part of the deciding process. It, it can't be I, – I couldn't put it as just decide what the punishment is because we – That's – no, we need to have that moderated. Yeah, because uh, you have a job and I have – a job <laughs> that can definitely both be damaged by certain things. So we will heavily give you preference if you decide you want to help us decide or choose what the punishment is, but there will have to be some limits towards that. Mm, yes. Anything that would uh, involve embarrassment or pain towards me, I'm going to have to say no. <laughs> so just like Taylor eats a lot of chocolate. I think uh, I want to see. Yeah, it's rough, but I'll do it. I want to see you do the gallon challenge. No, that's that's what I want to see happen. I will throw up. Then, well, that's the whole point of the gallon challenge. And therefore, it's a hard no. Because <laughs> I don't even like milk. I just not even a gallon challenge. I want to see you do an eight ounce milk challenge. That might be as bad as the gallon challenge. Oh man. All right, well, you can follow us on Twitter, I Seen That Pod. Follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash I Seen That. All the other places. Yeah. And thank you to Boss Play. Uh, they are super awesome, and we appreciate them 
More than most people. Uh, I would say all than more people. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> but like we, they to us are more important than most people. There might than, be a, than almost anybody else. Yeah. yeah, there might be other people that appreciate them more than we appreciate them, but that's not what we're trying to say. 